Okay, in this video, I'm going to review uh, how to find the equations of lines. This is something you learned in Math um, 90. Uh, anyway, so it shouldn't be too hard, I don't think. Anyway, uh, there's some formulas you need to know. Um, definition of slope. We use that whenever we want to compute the slope if you're given two points. Very important. Uh, there's the good old point-slope formula, and, and that's used if you, if you are given some information, namely you're given the um, a point in the slope and you want to uh, you want to find the equation of a line, you could use that. And then there's the slope intercept form of a line as well. Uh, y equals mx plus b. It's, it's used for uh, several things, but certainly used if you know the equation and you want to find the slope, the fastest way to find the slope is to solve for y, isn't it? It'll be the coefficient of x. Alright, so here we go. So, so the key question is what information do you need to find the equation of a line? And typically the answer is you need a point and you need the slope for the most part. So if you're given a point, if you know a point and the slope, you can find the equation of the line that, that goes through this point and has this slope. So um, if you use the point-slope formula, it amounts to just plugging in the information. You, you plug the y-coordinate in for y1, you plug the x-coordinate in for x1, and you plug the slope in for, the, for m, and you keep y and x the same, so you get this, and then all you have to do is solve for y. We, we typically solve for y because um, when you have a linear equation solved for y, you can, you can tell the slope is negative 2, the y-intercept is 5. It's, easy, it's also easy to graph, isn't it? So, re so remember, in general, the information you need to find the equation of a line is the point and the slope. Okay. Well, what if you're given two points? How would you find the equation of that line? Well, um, what we're going to do is we, we first have to find the slope, right? You could use the definition of slope. Now, remember, it doesn't make any difference which, which point you call x1, y1, as long as you're consistent. So if I take 5 minus negative 1, I have to be consistent and take 1 minus 3 on the bottom. Make sure you put the change in y on the top, change in x on the bottom. So I get 6 over negative 2, which is negative 3. We're not done yet. Uh, to find the equation now, we can use this as our slope. Now, wh which point should we use in, in the point slope formula? The answer is either one. I'm going to use that one. So I'm going I'm to plug for y1, I'm going to plug 5 right there. I'm going to plug for, uh, for x1, I'm going to plug 1 in for x1. I'm going to plug negative 3 in for m, so you get this. And then when you simplify and solve for y, I get uh, y equals negative 3x plus 8. Okay. Now some other information uh, about parallel lines. Parallel lines have the same slope. So their slopes will be equal. And perpendicular lines, uh, their slopes will be negative reciprocals. So for example, if you're... Um, if your slope of your line is, is two thirds, then the slope of the line that's parallel will also, I'm sorry, try it again. If the slope of the line is negative two thirds, then the slope of the line that's parallel will also be negative two thirds. And the slope of the line that's perpendicular, you take the reciprocal of it and the uh, opposite. So the slope of the line that's perpendicular will be three halves. Got it? If the slope of your line is five, then the parallel, slope of the line that's parallel will also have slope five. And the slope of the line that's perpendicular, you take the reciprocal of this and the negative of it, so you get negative one-fifth. If the slope of a line is m, the slope of the line parallel will be m, the slope of the line that's perpendicular will be negative one over m. We're assuming m isn't zero. If the slope of the line is uh, one, the slope of the line that's parallel will be one. The slope of the line that's perpendicular will be one, negative one over one, which is just negative one, isn't it? What if the line has slope zero? If a line has slope zero, then the line that's parallel to it, do you, do you know what the line looks like if it has slope zero? Why, it's a horizontal line, isn't it? Horizontal lines have slope zero. Then any line that's parallel to it will, will also be a horizontal line with slope zero. And what type of line would be, would be perpendicular to a horizontal line? That'll be a vertical line, and the slope of a vertical line is undefined. What if a line has slope undefined? Again, that would be a vertical line. Vertical line would have the equation x equals something, right? Horizontal line has the equation y equals some, something. Any line that's parallel to a vertical line will also be vertical, so have undefined slope. What type of line is perpendicular to a vertical line? It'd be a horizontal line. Have slope zero. 
All right, so a few more here. Uh, if you have something like this, find the equation of a line that goes through negative three. Uh, I'm sorry, three negative one, and perpendicular to this to the to this line. Well, again, what information do you need to find in general to find the equation of a line? You need a point in the slope. So you have a point. We have to determine the slope of our line. Our line is perpendicular to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to uh, first find the slope of our line, and then we're going to use the point-slope formula. How do we find the slope of our line? Now remember, it's perpendicular to this line. So all you have to do is solve this for y. If, if we do that over here, we solve this equation for y. We, we add 3x. I should say we subtract 3x. Then you divide by negative 2. So you get this. So the slope of this line is 3 halves. Since ours is perpendicular, it's going to be negative 2 thirds of slope. So you first find the slope. And then to find the slope of this line, take the negative reciprocal. Now we're back in business because now to finish the problem, all you have to do is for the point, you plug in x equal 3, y equal ne negative 1, and for our slope, we plug in negative 2 thirds, simplify it, solve for y. I get y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 1. Okay, we've got time for a couple more, I think. All right, find the equation of a line that's parallel to this line and has x intercept negative 2. Well, that's just a sneaky way of saying the point's negative 2, 0. Say, so why don't you hit the pause button here? on your, um, your computer and uh, see if you can do this on your own, okay? Okay, so first thing we do is find the slope of our line. Our line has slope, uh, it's parallel to this, so it's going to have the same slope as this. If you solve this equation for y, I get y equals 1 half x minus 2. So the slope that we're going to use is 1 half, since it's parallel. Well, now that we know a point is negative 2, 0, and the slope is 1 half, we can go right to the point-slope formula. y minus 0 equals 1 half x minus negative 2, so x plus 2. Final answer, y equals 1 half x plus 1. Okay, let's do, let's do a couple more. Now, for uh, these are the ones that get students, I know, in the past. Suppose you want to find the equation of a line through the point 3, negative 1 with slope undefined. Well, folks, if the slope is undefined, you're not going to be able to use the point-slope formula. So you, what, what you should do, whenever you have a vertical or a horizontal line, you should draw a picture. Draw a picture of this line. The, the line goes to the point uh, 3, negative 1, and its slope is undefined, so it's vertical. So what's the equation of that line, folks? The equation would be vertical line is going to be x equal 3. So make sure you remember this. This is really important. I guarantee this will come up at some point. Whenever you have a vertical line, the slope is undefined, and the equation of vertical line will always be x equal a constant. When you have a horizontal line, the slope will always be 0, and the equation of the line will be y equal a constant. Okay? We've got time for one more. Why don't you try this one on your own? See if you can find the equation of the line that goes to the point 3, negative 1 and is perpendicular to the y-axis. Why don't you hit the pause button? Try this on your own. Draw a picture. So if you draw a picture, the, uh, you don't have to use the... well, you, you actually could use a point slope formula, but if you draw a picture here, if it goes through 3, negative 1, and it's perpendicular to the y-axis, it has to look like this. So the equation, it's a horizontal line, so it has to have the equation y equals something. If the y coordinate is negative 1, it's always going to be negative 1. So the answer is y equals negative 1. Alrighty, we'll see you in class. Bye-bye.